Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of ROM editing. We are kicking straight back off into part 3. Um, basically continuing where we left off from before, obviously. Uh, for anyone that is new to kind of this little short segment, uh, me and my friends are improving in ROM editing and essentially improving every single Pokemon that is weak and the base Pokemon games and making them stronger. Um, to essentially make every Pokemon viable. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, um, we've gone through the first one through 51, um, just giving out stat boosts to Pokemon that are weaker, um, new uh, typings uh, to some other Pokemon. So like Sand Slash, for example, is ground fighting. Um, Arbok is poison dark, Raticate is normal poison. Um, and stuff like that. We also added better typings, or not better typings, uh, better move sets. Um, also adjusting stats to accommodate for the lack of physical special split in this game. So Gengar, well, I don't want to spoil that. Um, we'll get there when we get there. Um, abilities, obviously improving for some Pokemon. If you didn't see last episode, Parasect now has pure power, but we did reduce its attack stat. Um, so that is a mixed attacking monster, but let's continue uh, from the last time that we left off um, Moving on to Meowth um, now has serene grace I believe instead of a, it was like runaway and then we also added limber. I'm not sure if that's new or not um, Looking at its uh, Moose sets it's getting bite payday very wise, fake uh, faint attack, fake out pretty early on, air lace for some coverage, and obviously you're gonna want to level this thing up because waiting for these moves are bad. Um, then looking at Persian, we I believe increased its um, special attack to match its uh, attack stat. Yeah, we gave it a slight attack buff with five, um, and increased its special attack as well. Very fast Pokemon, Serene Grace obviously doubling the effects of its abilities as well. Um, it's getting Slash, a lot of coverage, ultimately this is very similar to what Persian is like nowadays, except uh, nowadays it has Technician. Um, so it has Water Pulse, Thunder Fang, Poison Jab, Knock Off, Endeavor, and then Crush Claw. With Crush Claw having a chance to lower defense, Serene Grace also benefits from that as well. Um, so ultimately, even though this thing doesn't have technician, we did give it a slight buff. So at least all this coverage that it does have, it doesn't matter whether you're, um, it doesn't matter what moves you're selecting that are physical or special, depending on the typing, um, it'll still be good with Persian and hopefully this Pokemon will be better as well. It's already very fast. So I think the coverage also helps, um, in that, even though, no, maybe you're not one shining thing, you're. You're definitely at least uh, two shining things. Then moving forward, we have Psyduck, um, pure water type with abilities of Drizzle and Damp. Looking at its movesets, um, we gave it Bite earlier on, Water Gun, Disable Confusion, um, Psybeam, Calm Mind, and Hydro Pump. But you know, you know, obviously you're evolving at Golduck. And finally, for the first time, Nintendo should literally be paying us for this. We came up with this amazing idea. People are so tired of Golduck not being water and psychic type, so we decided to do that. Um, it always just makes sense for Psyduck, Golduck to be water psychic, but they never are. But now Golduck is finally water psychic. Still has that drizzle ability. I don't think we changed um, its stats that much because we felt like having the um, having the drizzle ability honestly makes this Pokemon so much viable in terms of team building. Um, using uh, permanent weather because gen 3 is permanent weather um drizzle setting up rain is just so important and also d uh adds a buff to water type moves and then we decided to give it a lot of coverage with um headbutt icy wind confuse ray protect air lace psychic calm mind and hydro pump calm mind obviously benefiting both its water and psychic um typings that are both special so hopefully this will give it a nice little boost um, that Golduck needs to become better. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, we have Minky with Vital Spirit and a new ability of Hustle. Uh, looking at its movesets, you know, it, this is just classic Minky gets uh, essentially all the fighting type moves, but we did cut some of them because it doesn't need all of them. 
Uh, we actually give it Mach Punch, uh, which we added, added into this game. Um, I think Mankey, what Mankey really is losing is um, even when it becomes Primate, it's not still not incredibly fast, so having that priority is really good. Um, then we have Seismic Toss, Cross Trap, Poison Jab, and Thrash. Um, then moving on to Primate, um, same abilities. Uh, we also added Dizzy Punch, which, excuse me, I know we just added I think Dizzy Punch. Uh, I don't think I have it here, but Dizzy Punch I think is just um, 70 base with a chance to confusion, which is always not bad. Um, looking at some more uh, coverage moves, we gave it Rock Tomb, Poison Jab, which now has a 40% chance to poison since most Pokemon will be uh, getting Sludge Bomb. Uh, then we have Bulk Up, which is uh, really good for obvious reasons. Crush Drop, Knock Off, uh, even though it's special, definitely good to knock off some items every once in a while. And then Thrash. Um, so we didn't really uh, change, change Primeape's um, stats, I don't believe, too much, unless we increase its speed. No, because we felt like this, uh, although it doesn't appear much in the game, it's very good at what it does. Um, has decent speed, very high attack, and even though it doesn't get crazy coverage, um, fighting is just very strong against most Pokemon. Um, like obviously, you still have knockoff to hit ghost types, but overall Primate is just that good, solid, um, decent speed, good attack that um, honestly just works. So yeah, we didn't think about increasing its stats at all. Moving forward, we have a really cool set. Um, Growlithe, uh, keeping its same abilities, Intimidating Flash Fire, we both uh, thought that these abilities were really good. Shout out um, Arid and Sworn Flying for helping me out. Also Dylan helped me out too, so shout out Dylan too. Um, but looking at the moveset, we have Bite, Roar, Ember, Takedown, Double Kick, Flame Wheel, Thunder Fang, Morning Sun, Extreme Speed, and Flamethrower. So obviously um, Growlithe automatically, or no, it actually doesn't get Thunder Fang. We actually added in the Fangs um, along with a, a couple of other really cool moves. But um, seeing as it had Thunder Fang, we thought, we looked at the other fire types in the game and we were like, well, if there's any Pokemon to do it with, this is definitely the Pokemon to do it with. Growlithe uh, evolving into Arcanine using a Firestone, which maybe we should edit that to make it a Thunderstone. I think that'd be badass because Arcanine is now Fire Electric now. Um, really high uh, attack special attack, but this is just normal stats that it has. Bite, Crunch, Extreme Speed, Wild Charge, which we added, and Flamethrower. So um, yeah, the first Fire Electric type in the game, obviously you have very, very high offensive moves. Um, you know, Wild Charge, Flamethrower, Extreme Speed, Crunch, um, you're having very, very good coverage, attack, special attack, um, really solid abilities, and a decent speed tier as well. But obviously the thing is, um, with Fire Electric, you're now four times weak to ground type moves. Um, so ground type moves are honestly can be pretty common, um, and ground is also the one of the strongest types in the move, uh, strongest types in the game, um, flying being like the best resistance to it. So um, even though this is very good uh, offensively, it does open up some weaknesses um, to the ground type, which we thought would counteract the fact that it is fire electric. And now that I think about it, maybe we should change um, Arcanine's evolution stone to fire electric. So it may not look like an electric type now, but boom, there you go. Now it's electric type. Maybe we should also, I don't know how to force it to be shiny, but maybe we should just force every uh, Arcanine to be shiny. That'd be cool. Um, but moving on, we have, um, I think this will be our last set for right now. Um, Poliwag, uh, I think now has, has it always had a Water Absorb? Water Absorb Vamp, um, getting some cool moves, Karate Chop, Psybeam at 25. Um, you're obviously going to evolve this thing into a Poliwhirl. Still has the same abilities, Bubble Beam, getting a lot of good coverage, honestly. Bubble Beam, Ice Punch, Aqua Jet, oh, excuse me. Body Slam, Trick, Knock Off, uh, Belly Jump, Hydro Pump, and Protect. Um, evolving into Polyrath will give you access to Dizzy Punch, Brick Break, Knock Off, Super Power, Hydro Pump. Um, we didn't change any of its stats really, but obviously um, some good coverage for it. And then looking at 
Holly Toad um, is now Water Psychic uh, with Water Absorb and Drizzle. We'll now have Fake Out, Psychic, Pear Song, Mirror Code, and Hydro Pump. So we also thought that Poly Toad um, could, could still be good um, as Water Psychic. I know that essentially Slowbro and Slowking are also Water Psychic, but I felt like Poly Toad um, definitely didn't lose anything from being just uh, water, but I feel like it was already getting access to some psychic type moves early on as Poly Whirl, so we might as well just make it water psychic, and I don't think it really negative negatively impacts it all that much anyways, so. All right guys, I think that is the end of the video for today. Uh, if you're interested in checking out the tools, I will drop them in the link below. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and I'll catch you on the next one.